Hello today, I'm here with Ujis from iPhone Photography School and Ujis is a CEO of a company who makes 5 million revenue past year. That's correct. Almost. That's right. 5.5 5 million euros. 5.5 million euros past year with info products. Is That's that correct? Right. So we're going to talk about how to do that and what are the things necessary to kind of accomplish that. Because as you can see here, this is their website. And I, the first question is, how can you make 5.5 million from this website? What would be your answer? Uh, well, a lot of people come to that website, so that's, that's very key. Uh, so we have about basically more than a million people every month coming to our site. More than a million. And it's about iPhone photography and how to help people take better photos. So if you Google anything related to iPhone photography, it will probably be one of the top results. Mm -hmm. And that's how people find us. So they have some sort of uh, thing, that the specific thing they want to solve in their iPhone photography or just get better at it. And they're sort of interested in it and they find our articles. Oh, okay. When they read our articles, they see it's really good content and we really put a lot of effort. So it is very good content. Uh, then we sort of offer them to become part of our mailing list. So mm -hmm. email marketing is key, especially email when, marketing is key, especially when making uh, money from, from trying to uh, make money from website. Uh -huh. And uh, that's at, at a very high level as well. And then how we actually make money uh, directly is from our online courses. They're video courses, but taking better iPhone photos. So what you have on website for free mm -hmm. is what we later offer in uh, video courses that are paid. But, you know, people pay because everything's together. It's really convenient, really high quality content. So what, what happens basically when I see, okay, a free report reveal seven best iPhone photography apps. I click download. Yes. I put my like name, email. Can you walk me through what's gonna happen to the buyer? He's gonna get. Let's see what I'm gonna get. I guess that's interesting to me how it like works. Okay, so what you chose was our uh, free report on seven uh, best iPhone photography apps. Yeah. And that's something everyone sort of is interested in. Mm -hmm. People often think, I want to be good at iPhone photography, which app should I use? Mm -hmm. And that's why we offer this on our website in many different places. Mm -hmm. It's in the middle of articles. There's this uh, small uh, banner. Okay. Uh, it's on different sidebars. You uh, saw it on the first page as well. Uh. And here, actually, people will get something in their email. It's, it's sort of report going through all the apps that, you know, uh, But what, what will happen? Okay, I get the report at my email, right? Yes. What happens after that? What so, happens after the email? Uh, and then we sort of put you in an email sequence where, where we send you some interesting videos. That one is on seven hidden iPhone camera features. And yeah. that's our best video on Facebook. It is like so it's in a video. We, we get a video. Yeah. That's like a landing page, right? Uh, so we can actually, uh, you know what, what we'll do, uh, maybe you can go back to our site. Go back. And go to the uh, top. Yeah. Or you can go to the blog. Blog. Let's see the blog. This is how the blog looks, which gets 1 million hits <laughs> per month. That's right. And then maybe on a, uh, if you just scroll down on the sidebar. Uh, you mean this? Yes. Uh, so ah, for example. This one? Oh, no, this. Yeah, seven hidden iPhone camera features. So that's our best video uh, by far. Uh, that's why it was a mistake in the email. That's why it didn't yeah, go. Yeah, it has some uh, 10 million views on Facebook. This one video has 10 million views on Facebook. That's right. And uh, yeah, so, and also people who got the free report, we, in the next email, we try to direct them to this page. This page. To make sure they watch really, really high quality content from us in video format. Mm -hmm. And uh, once they've uh, seen the video, we mm -hmm. start selling them uh, offers about our, you know, paid product. How so, worth is this video, what you would say? Like for us? Yeah. Well, uh, I'd say we probably made a few million from this video. Like a few million for one video? Yes. Okay. This was a really success. It's by far our most successful Most one, successful but, video, uh, yeah. It could so, be close to that, yes. So people watch the video and then they kind of, you in incentivize them to check out iPhone. That's right. And uh, if you watch the video at first, Emil Sells, that's, that's my business partner and, and mm -hmm. a guy who started the company, mm -hmm. joined him uh, about three years ago. Uh, so, but he's the face of our company so mm -hmm. in terms of... Uh, from our client's perspective. Mm -hmm. So what he does sells the video really well, why people should watch it and why should yeah. they pay attention. Deliver on that promise and really good action, mm -hmm. actually, uh, give actually good content. And then at the end, he encourages people to go and check out our full course. 
so it's, I couldn't say everything in a free video, which is true, mm -hmm. and uh, just encourages them to check out. The so this is what he encourages them to do, right? That's right. Find out more about iPhone Photography School. So we go here, and this is going to be the sales page, right? Yeah. So this is our our paid product, uh, and this actually is one of the the best performing sales pages in photography niche. Oh, uh, one of the best in the world, right? That's right. Uh, we've seen like people seeing uh, sending traffic to our mm -hmm. site that it converts almost the best in the world. So oh my god, it's a it's a really good one. And the key uh, for it to work is definitely in the in the headline or the promise. This so, one. Yeah, so we're promising people that they'll take incredible iPhone photos that people will adore, they'll be proud to look at years later, and that they won't have to uh, carry their bulky camera. So because many people who are also in photography, yeah. uh, initially they use DSLRs or big cameras, and now they, they sort of haven't realized yet that iPhone can t do almost all the same things without carrying it around, it's never with you, iPhone is always with you. And, and that's how sort of we beat the, the regular photography office. Because I, I read like your mission is to, you, you're actually, I think like number one in iPhone photography and your mission is to get to become the biggest in general photography, like DSLRs. Right. We want to be the uh, best on uh, photography resource in the world. Like best photography resource in the world. You see like that's, <laughs> that's like thinking big, like that's like, you know, we want to be the best. And this is a, why it, why it's so long. Like, why is the page like so long? Like, so does that matter? It does matter, and uh, so you could all actually read the page just by reading the headlines. So people like you, many times they're just scroll scrolling through and seeing mm. what it's about, and then at some point uh, they'll start reading the part they're interested in and scroll over what they're not interested in. Mm -hmm. But it covers everything that that sort of all the things you need to believe bef before you buy the course. So, ah. And uh, if, if we actually go through them one by one, I, I, I can explain what they ah. are. But uh, have you tested this? Have you tried like short and long? Uh, I can't say we've tested it, but uh, this, this works really well. I mean, comparing to other offers. Mm -hmm. And generally, it is true that uh, longer sales pages will work better than short ones. Ah. You have more time to convince people. They sort of they know it's really mm -hmm. long and it's kind of psychological shortcut to think, well, they really tried describing this, it must be good. Mm -hmm. uh, and generally in marketing, long sales pages work better than short ones. Ah, okay. So what I basically see, I'm a new kind of customer to you. Mm -hmm. For example, I just come to your page and you, you have all those kind of free reports, free pictures, free stuff, mm -hmm. kind of linking to this sales page, to this kind of yes. sales. But as I can see, and your videos from Facebook also go here. Move, like ads. Oh, uh, yeah, so if we show Facebook videos, they'll also go to this. They go to here. But as I can see, this offer is only $97. That's like, right. But what, what does this do? It just covers, what does it cover? It doesn't actually, well, if people come from websites, it will cover, um, uh, well, it's, it's just profit for us ah, because it's, profit it's free traffic. But oh, okay. uh, we also get a lot of customers coming in from our Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then it will actually only cover part of the uh, the sum we're paying to Facebook. Uh, just part of it. Where we'll actually make money or where we'll make money back is also in the next offer. So once people buy, we immediately off offer them two other products, which are on basically on, on photo editing. And then only then we'll make back the money we're spending now on Facebook. So. It might seem strange. Why? Why are we even uh, yeah, so basically Facebook just so we can get customers that didn't bring us any profit? Yeah. The thing is, we'll get a profit from them in long term. So uh, we've acquired people who like our stuff, who are yeah. our customers, and then in long term, once they make the next purchases, that's when we'll actually get the profit. When uh, did, do you know the vi lifetime value of your customers? Uh, I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> but okay, like, how much does it cost you to get one customer from Facebook? Uh, about $140. So it costs you $140 to get one customer from Facebook, and then he basically buys the 97 course. And some, uh, some of them buy the next product. Ah, some of them already. already uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. But like, for, for somebody watching, they probably don't understand, okay, how can this make 5.5 million? Can you maybe share how much money you spend on Facebook to kind of... Yeah, so, I mean, by far the biggest part uh, of that money goes to Facebook. And, you know, as I said, 
most of the money we spent just to acquire a customer. Our profit was uh, 1.5 million uh, mm -hmm. last year. And how year. much did you spend on Facebook? Uh, we, sp uh, I'd have to check my Roughly. one one number that that's in my mind is about 2.3 million last year, but mm -hmm. I'd have to check if that's true. Imagine if you want to make five million, you need to spend 2.3 million. <laughs> yeah, that's well, but you that's have true, to right? Spend money to, to that's get true. It, yeah. What would you kind of you know how to do it, right? You know the system of iPhone photography school. You know how they make money. Like, let's take an example. Somebody wants to start an info business because info yeah. business is it's hot right now. Like some okay. some people like yeah. want to do it. I'm also like creating info products, but I don't have as near as much like experience or sales as you mm -hmm. guys have. So, what would you? suggest them to do or how to structure the business just like structure wise uh, yeah so i think there are a few keys that that make our business successful mm -hmm. and one is that always the first impression we have with people it's always very positive so uh, and that is true content, uh, true content. so if people see our videos on facebook and they're interested in photography if they read our blog, blog articles they will typically solve mm -hmm. their problem. They'll be surprised. They'll love the content, how it's presented, how it looks, mm -hmm. what value it brings them, everything about it. So start off by giving massive value, entertaining people, helping them, uh, sort of showing them things they didn't know before. And if you're in the information space, that's basically what you have to do anyway. So put all of your best stuff basically at the front, just so you can Im impress people and sort ah. of show them how, how things work. Uh, but also, and that also includes uh, telling people why they need to know this. So, if you see a random video on Facebook, typically you just scroll right past it. Mm -hmm. But you need to sort of tell people why they need to know this, how this will help them, why should they, you should what kind of problem will it solve, right? Exactly, or or read your article or anything like that. So, that's the first part, the first impression. Massive the value in content. Absolutely, uh, and high quality content. And then the second part is sort of uh, the key is definitely the sales page. So how is described and uh, sort of what are the problem points of people and what problem again you'll be solving with your bigger product. Uh, so and I guess those things are always connected and they always go together. But you have to, uh, you know, tell sort of promise people what they'll uh, what their problem is and how, how you solve it. And, you know, then the so actually the last part of providing the information helpful useful information is the easy part in the end mm -hmm. with, through your product but like structure wise because uh, you, you said okay like you need massive value in content mm -hmm. you need the sales pages to convert you make them like as much as like yeah. describing the product so solution the problem etc but what would you kind of suggest people to focus on because this what, what we seeing is like basically the front end of the business mm -hmm. like how much focus is the front end and the back end because you said like back end is where you upsell you have different products like how should a young entrepreneur or somebody who wants to start in this niche like how should he think about it well first i guess you should get in front of people and find a way to do it mm -hmm. and see if people are in general interested in what you have to say. Mm. Uh, so if they won't be interested in your free content, probably they also won't be interested. In How can you know content. if they're interested? How can uh, you test it? That's a, that's a good question. I mean, the fastest way uh, by far is to do it through Facebook ads and just pay to get your content in front of different people. And that's very fast, but it's risky. If you don't, mm. uh, if your offer doesn't convert, you won't make that money back. Uh, I guess, but everyone who's who's serious about this, they can get first indications by, by providing free content, hmm. either to Instagram, on Facebook, uh, if they have a website, if they see people are actually interested in this stuff and, and people find it and, and they find it valuable, they'll tell you and you know, you'll be sort of hmm. inclined to start thinking, okay, how can I make a profit from this? And then uh, just once you have sort of inclination, okay, I have what to offer people and they'll be interested in it. Uh, just try uh, try to get them to pay for it. Uh, so as that is always the best indication. If people are willing to pay you money for what you have to offer, mm -hmm. then they actually really need it and you're able to sell it. If they're not willing to pay you money, then uh, then it won't work basically. Hmm. And, and, and money wise, how would you structure? Like you guys have 97 offer in the front end. Mm -hmm. and how big of the offers are after that? Like uh, what's the, the highest? The next two offers are, are uh, at 300. Next two offers are at 300? Mm -hmm. Is there something higher? Uh, not right now, but uh, 
it had it was actually in the works this year we scrapped it for now uh, but we offered a high-end photography tour at one point and it actually converted well as well uh, there were different reasons why why not to do it at this point mm -hmm. but you know the more valuable stuff you can offer them uh, mm -hmm. at the back end the more profit you'll make so uh, just add anything that's valuable to the customer and makes sense for them to pay money for it like you guys uh, I also just want to show like everybody who's watching like Ujis and the team and his team like have I don't know how to say it, like 464 followers in Facebook and uh, like that's a lot right that's a lot uh, I must uh, I must say we spend so much money on Facebook ads <laughs> so they that's where the major majority of them come ah, from from Facebook ads uh, yeah so they ah. just see your ad and they also click like page so ah. Uh, it shows that we've been in front of a lot of people. Like, what's some of the tactics you can share that's working good for you and other businesses probably don't use but should start using in Facebook? Well, like what's working? What's been huge for us was the video ads. Video uh, ads. So yeah, just getting in right in front of people with uh, with your videos, uh, and that's been huge. That's uh, last year we we were able to grow our business four times and that was mainly thanks to those uh, like four times videos. we grow the business like yeah so times. we were already a seven figure business and, and, we and now you're an eight grow. figure oh no almost an eight figure uh, not, yet, not yet but you're gonna be yeah. right uh, hopefully yeah but like uh, what as and okay I understand something about Facebook ads some people maybe don't understand but like mm -hmm. what's the um, the target what's in, if you go to Facebook ads what kind of campaign you're making you're making an engagement campaign uh, no so always when you're spending money on something mm -hmm. you have to have a way to get it back so okay your prime objective will be actually to make sales from it if you spend if you're uh, spending on ads but not making sales directly from it you're probably losing money and, and that's not a good way to spend your money so our objective is always to get more purchases so I guess on Facebook they call it conversions ah so it's conversions you're focusing uh, on conversions always, always is uh, and uh, that's what we do there we know our customer uh, which is typically a woman about uh, 60 or 65 in, uh, in the United States mm -hmm. so that's who we target also on Facebook and we knew it because we had people from our website coming and buy. Mm -hmm. uh, so target who, who your customer is and then again offer them really good content but uh, video ads has been something that uh, Facebook is kind of pushing and, and it's working really well. Right now. Are you trying guys something new like tr switching off from Facebook or some new, new ventures as well? Uh, we will try this year. We, we want to get into affiliate traffic so ah, affiliate traffic. people who already have their email lists or are willing to get traffic to you uh, mm -hmm. and uh, sort of offering them a part of the sale. Uh, so that's something we want to get into but so far two huge uh, ways how to get traffic mm. is from our website and from Facebook. Hmm. Because like Google is like so, like so hard to rank I think in Google like Facebook. It Google. is, it is, and uh, uh, we were uh, lucky because this site was started six years ago, and ah. it's a difficult thing to do to start a new site and to rank on something that can actually make you money. There's probably already competition, so uh, I would not start it probably this way uh, through mm -hmm. SEO. It's it just takes so so much time and. In all likelihood, it won't work. Like most business mm. ideas, don't work. Mm. So, spending some years for an idea that's unknown if it will work, <laughs> it's it's very risky. Like let's say, so you, because you're in the like, this is it's a tech company. Like you're a tech company. It's also the same. Uh, not yet, not, but not uh, th that is definitely our ambition. Ah, okay. What are some of the kind of the ventures? Some new entrepreneurs. Somebody's watching because my audience who watches are pretty pretty young people. Mm -hmm. Because uh, and sometimes they're like, also, oh, I want to start a business, but I don't know what to start. Like, okay. what will be maybe the ideas or or kind of industries to focus on, which you see potential growth in. Uh, so. I guess there's a, you know, you have to decide what you're interested in. So many people who are interested in just making money the fastest possible way, uh, they go into e-commerce, so mm -hmm. they find something that can be made somewhere in China and mm -hmm. then just sell it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of people who do that. And I guess currently it's, it's actually pretty profitable. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just get into a business that you can do by yourself, and so that's not that difficult to crack, at least for, uh, right now, mm. uh, get into e-commerce. Then again, it's not sort of a, a real business. You're just uh, taking advantage of the fact that it's really uh, cheap to manufacture something on China, yeah. kind of cheap to run ads right now. 
and uh, but that's it once sort of your costs go above, uh, above what you're making after it then the business you will go out of business so it's not very sustainable but it I mean it's a way how to start something at least quickly <laughs> uh, yeah. and you know uh, that's that's not a bad thing to do for sure mm. uh, also information business it's uh, it's something similar where you can start it uh, you know being on your own and, and being a one-man band so that's another way how to go about it and that's providing people information on something they're interested in <laughs> we do it in iPhone photography you, you're helping people with marketing other people are helping with vegan diets other people are, are and it's, and it's coaching, like you, so. you just like make it once and it's like your asset you don't need to have inventory you don't need to like uh, yeah that's 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 sort of the easiest part that's you know there's nothing you're actually manufacturing yeah. aside from the content so yeah. uh, that helps definitely because one of the things I know one colleague from you get if your your, your mm -hmm. company and uh, he told me that you have an option to kind of order books and you're mm -hmm. also like learning a lot. Like, yes. what's uh, like, what are some of the books your most favorite books, or uh, what could you recommend for other people? Because okay. I will take notes on that. Definitely. <laughs> because I that's like, a good question. I guess it depends a lot on what you're interested in. So, if you already have a, a business and, and mm -hmm. you're running it, two books I, I would suggest is Scaling Up. Scaling Up. Oh, I have read it. Okay, right, that's scaling good. Up. Uh, and also Principles by Ray Dalio. Also have read it. Oh, also so. good. So those two really influence how we're running our business day to day. So uh, if if you're in a position where, where you already started something, I'd definitely start with those. Uh, then if you want to get really good at marketing, uh, some of Russell Brunson's books are really good. Uh, so he has Stockholm Secrets. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, and I guess Expert Secrets as well. Yeah. How does uh, work? So I'm, you, have, <laughs> you have all my suggestions already. I don't know what to tell you. Like, uh, one of the things also, like, I'm always talking about, like, people need to find, like, mentors or, like, people, the, and find a mentor who's, like, who has 10 years of the experience that you want to get or, like, who's 10 yeah. years ahead of you. Like, what's your thoughts about mentors or? Uh, absolutely. And we have a person that, uh, we see about once once in six months. We pay him a lot of money for it, a lot of uh, just to spend a day with him. But you know, last time we did it a couple of weeks ago, and once again it was really really beneficial. Just there was an outside perspective mm -hmm. coming in, saying sort of understanding what things to do first, what to attack first, what your strategy should be, and that was hugely uh, hugely helpful. And he's someone who's actually run a company like ours in information space. Uh, but he just uh, it's way bigger it has like 200 employees he was the CEO so it definitely definitely helps being in touch with someone who's ahead of you mm. and also uh, we're meeting up with our peers and actually later in August we even know added around uh, seven businesses from mm. uh, from Europe who do similar things than we do and uh, they'll just come here in Riga we'll share what's working for mm. us what's not working where we need help uh, give our book suggestions sure. and have some fun together. So what, what do you think about Ty Lopez? Ty Lopez, uh, I haven't paid much attention to him. I know he's a guy that poses in front of Ferraris, uh, but that's <laughs> about all I know about him. And what about I Grant know. Cardone? I don't know that guy. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk? Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, I saw him once live. He was really funny. I saw him live uh, on an event? He was really funny. Uh, and I guess the things he's saying make sense. He's really pushing people to work 16 hours per day. That's definitely not my style. Like after six hours, I'm, I'm probably done for the day. Uh, but yeah, he's a smart guy and he's very entertaining. And I guess that's where a lot of his sort of cachet comes from. What, what are the people you look, like, look up to or who, who you follow? Uh, one company we follow quite closely is called Mind Valley. It's oh, not a Oh, I know the company. And once again, <laughs> uh, it's not a mainstream company, but it's really big in, uh, in, in folk space. So uh, it, there's going to be an e event in Estonia for like a couple of days. Yeah, we were there actually. Are you were there? Yes. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Is there another company? Is there something uh, else? Well, I guess on a, on a bigger stage, we really admire Apple. Uh, Apple. And, you know, that's part of the, the our origin story that Emil's really liked Apple and same for me. And we really admire what Elon, uh, Elon Musk is doing. Uh, with Tesla and, and his other businesses, so I guess those are the mainstream businesses we we aspire to, and we also want to get into tech at some point. So, like, what are the some of the big goals you you guys focusing on like this year or next year? 
Uh, this year we want to sort of uh, make our business more reliable by, by growing our team. So a lot of uh, the team we have now is awesome. Mm -hmm. We, we want to make it bigger. And a lot of the things we're doing day to day, Emil and I, can probably be done uh, by, by people on our team. So we want to mm. find them and people who can help us. Uh, and the, the reason why we're doing it is so that uh, we can focus on launching a tech product and it will still be in photography space. It will still uh, work towards helping people take better photos, uh, but it, it is a sort of a bit different thing than we've been done so before. So a SaaS business, right? A uh, software as a service? Not, uh, it will, we'll probably start with an app. Ah, uh, with an app. Uh, yes, and you know we're business to consumer, so uh, that's, that's probably the way to go. Um, yeah, we're, we're really interested in that, using AI, how we can uh, help people with that. So that's very exciting, but like one step before that, we need to make our business a bit more stable than it is right now. Ah, so it's not stable, so... You uh, yeah, you can't, say it's not, <laughs> you can't say it's not stable, but if we decided not to work on it day to day, uh, uh, there would probably be problems or it wouldn't run as good. Mm. We want to be re, uh, make it to a position where we don't have to be involved in the day to day. Ah, so, so you made it, already uh, made it a little bit. That's, you know, and to get there, it, it takes a lot of work, a lot of uh, work with our team mm. and, and, and helping them. So that's the focus for now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell a big thank you to Ujis. And um, this is gonna be a ticket to an uh, electric go-kart oh, center sweet. from our kind of sponsor and friend of mine. And this is at Matis Street, so it's okay. like Baron Passau. All right. It's in that place. So these are electric go karts, yeah. and it's in house. Okay. It's, there's oh not 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 another place in Latvia where you can go and check it out. So I'm gonna put it here. I appreciate so it. So you yeah, have this it. Looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, it will be. It will be because it's like ten, ten more times All more right. fun. Thank you. So this is gonna be to you. And yeah, like awesome to talk with you. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, that was really good, really good. Like looking forward to seeing you guys grow and I need to learn some things from you guys so I can grow my business more. All right, awesome.